New York City, a town with more ways to get around than just about any place else. From helicopters to horses, and now, chariot. Should we actually have seatbelts on? I mean, is that like... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we should, right? You're coming into New York, which is a city that's pretty famous for its transportation alternatives. I mean, we've got subways, we've got taxis, we've got city bike. We've got ferries now. We've got ferries. We've got every way to get around you can imagine. Why do we need chariots? Yeah, it's a great question. There's a study by NYU that right. says that 94% of Manhattanites live within half a mile of a train station, but that number is half in Queens and a similar yeah. number in Brooklyn. So there are large swaths of the five boroughs where people actually don't have access to transit. If you want to ride, first you have to get the app or go to the website and punch in your preferred start and end points. Odds are there's no route for you yet, but if enough people, at least 50 people, want to go more or less the same way, then Chariot will start a route for you. People can use Chariot to complete their commute or to serve as a first and last mile solution uh, to or from their commute. What's the pricing like? I mean, you're charging a little bit more than a subway ride. We're at $4 a ride, so it's really accessible to the vast majority of New Yorkers from an economic standpoint. You're, you're starting off with how many routes and then how quickly do you expect it to grow? In August, we're going to start with two routes, the Lower East Side to Midtown and the second one being a Greenpoint to Dumbo in Brooklyn. What Chariot is leading is this microtransit revolution, and we define microtransit as a, a flexible, app-based, high-occupancy service. It's a supplement to public transit, and it's getting cars off of the road. Is there enough white space in the Big Apple's transportation map for this to work? To paraphrase Sinatra, if this thing can make it here, it can make it anywhere.